I think with both the butterfly process and engaging with this work in this more critical way, I think it's really, at least what I'm seeing is a lot of folks really saying how we usually do things is not enough. The level of, of questioning of the art we're presenting is not enough. And the amount of resources and time and staff conversations that have gone in behind the scenes to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it with this opera, it's, it's pretty unprecedented. I, I haven't seen too many opera companies really trying to engage on this deep level, not just with individual artists, but with audience members, with scholars, you know, across the landscape. Uh, I think it's bigger than Madama Butterfly as the opera. I'm, I'm hopeful that as BLO goes into the future and they're programming both contemporary works by non-white composers, but also Eurocentric works from the canon that might have problematic racial depictions, that they're really thinking through all of these issues in a much bigger way, but also not succumbing to cancel culture and just saying, well, it's too hard to do this work, or I don't want to be accused of being racist, or I don't want to think about race or talk about it, so I'm just not going to engage, or I'm just not going to perform that opera. Um, I think that there's better solutions, especially since there is something of value um, for audiences and, and also artists to engage with this work um, today and in the future. So institutionally, I think that's what's been really nice to see. Um, what about you? I mean, you have a much more different, you're, you're sort of inside as a, an artistic advisor in a much more different way. Yeah, I think that BLO is, like you said, just giving so many resources right now to, to making actual change and actually um, trying to make our industry a better place as far as canonic work goes and, and, and also contemporary work. But it can't just be lip service, right? It has to happen and then keep happening and then keep happening. And we have to keep educating the people that are working at the company, with the company. And that's what I see um, with BLO is that it is not just stopping here, but it's it's continuing. And, and, and that's what it takes to actually change our industry, I think.